Welcome to Do The Top Podcast. Here is a real estate podcast where we teach regular people just like you how to invest in real estate. My name is Ibrahim. I'm the host today and my co-host here is Ahmed Lawal. We have been committed and we will always be committed to make sure we educate you guys on how to invest in real estate. Our goal is to simplify real estate investment so you all and everyone listening to us can benefit from this. Ahmed, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you, Ibrahim. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it's, it's another great episode yeah. and uh, it's, you, you, you guys are going to enjoy it because uh, today we are finding a way to bring your hobby, what you like doing, and uh, into how you can monetize it around real estate investing or investors, you know, around you, you know. Um, but before we dive into that, I, I would like to ask, you know, this is things that we hardly do. We always give, 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 and we don't always ask. I would like to ask you guys if, you know, you are watching us now, please like, share, subscribe so that, you know, we can reach many other people that can benefit from this video. Yes. Um, so, like I said earlier, we are looking to bring in your hobby and, you know, merge it with real estate investing and, you know, show you how you can uh, monetize this and, you know, maybe be your side also instead of working two jobs, how you can monetize your hobby and make it your side also around real estate investing. Now, the topic is, you know, there are things that you like doing yeah. and you can actually do that for a fee, monetizing it in real estate. Uh, so that is the what we are bringing to you. It's basically, you know, things that we all have some sort of, you know, talent around. So, Ibrahim, you know, there are a lot of things that... Uh, needed skills that are needed uh someone like me i'm not good with colors if you ask me to divine de design a flyer for you <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be messy yeah. you will have the message in there but it's gonna be messy yeah. how can people you know develop the talents they already have and monetize it around real estate we see this every day yes yes um that's a great uh question and i like the fact that you started with you give them example of you know yourself and yeah. so that people can understand that we are not here saying that we have all the skills yeah, or nah. we know everything nah. um and by the way on my side i like to eat i can cook if the situation calls for it <laughs> but i don't like to cook <laughs> yeah give me something else practically something i can do with my hand i love it but telling me to cook it's like <laughs> you're telling me to do <laughs> you know, the biggest tax in the whole world. So everyone is, you know, we all, we are blessed with something. Yes. Okay. So what we are here to do is to show you how you can use your blessing, your gifted talent. Yes. You know, something that you already like doing and monetize it and actually, you know, get into real estate, um, you know, benefit from real estate investment because there are a lot of houses out there. There are a lot of, real estate is very large. So you also can tap into the wealth that is already embedded in real estate and yeah. get some from it, yeah. okay? And you don't have to quit your job. You don't even have to go to school for this. Yeah. And that's what we are here to talk about. So the first one I want to mention is cleaning. See, yeah. how, it sounds so easy, but yeah. really, that's what a lot of people do at home. Yeah. Some people know how to clean, like detail details. clean. Yes. But guess what? They don't make money from it. They just, you know, clean their house. The house looking beautiful. Yeah. That's it. We're looking for cleaners every time. Sure. Come on, man. Don't say that again. Say we, that again. We always look for it's, cleaners it's, every time. It's one of the biggest problems in especially short and middle time leasing. Yes. We look for cleaner every day, but some people are blessed. I'm talking to someone right now who is blessed in cleaning. He or she knows how to clean in a detailed way. All you have to do, you can monetize that. Connect with real estate investors. Connect with uh, people that are doing uh, uh, short-term, mid-term leasing. Print a flyer. Let people know that that's what you do, and you can monetize that. Are we saying it's easy? No, that's not the point. But we are saying you can use that to generate income on the side. It's yeah. going to be a passive income. 
Yeah. You keep your nine to five job. Don't mess with that. Keep that. But you can do this on the side and you'll be making money, you know, on the side. Yeah. <clears throat> we all know that one income is not the way to go with this economy. We, in fact, the, the way the world is going, you have to have something on the side. You cannot depend on one income. So what am I saying here? If you are blessed with cleaning, go for it. Yeah. Establish yourself. Connect with people. Get in touch with people that have that uh, resources that can help you get into it so you can be making money on the side. You don't know you no degree. Nobody will ask you for, let me see your certificate for yeah. cleaning. No. Okay. The next one I want to mention is um, Andy. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is, <laughs> this is the biggest. I don't yeah. know. Because Andy covers a lot of things. Yeah. You can be Andy in like, you know, Fixing anything, putting a cock on the window, you know, um, some nails is coming out in the, someone's house and yeah. they don't know how to put it back. Um, they want to change maybe a, a door or, yeah. you know, it's just a lot. Yeah. It can be anything. Flooring. Yes, flooring. Yeah. Somebody needs to put in flooring. Yeah. Somebody needs to put in some area of their carpet came off. You want to put it back yeah. or you want to change the entire carpet. Yeah. You don't need degree for all this. Yeah. All you need is experience, commitment. And experience come the more you do it. Yeah. Okay. Commitment, which is people want to see that you are committed to this. You are reliable. When you tell them you're coming, you're coming. Yeah. When you give them a price, it's a, fix, it's a price that is fixed. It's not like you yeah. get to the house, you tell them 200 today, you get to the house, you see the job, you say 200, but why are you doing the job? Now you say 700. Yeah. You know, you, you, don't, you just want, a keep, you want to keep that good customer and uh, good customer relationship <laughs> and satisfaction. That yeah. way you can keep making money on this. Yeah. Being Andy is a very, very valuable gift. Because it means you can fix anything, like anything that is not so technical. Yeah. Like you are there everywhere. Sometimes some minor stuff, you know, you can be as little as somebody, you know, maybe they buy something on Timu, you know. Want to it, put it together. Yes, just to put it together. Somebody bought something from Amazon, <clears throat> they need to put it together. A shelf, a deck, a this, a that. It can be anything. So you being Andy, all you have to do, put it, put it on, your, on the card and say, yes, you are Andy. Create a business card, create a flyers, connect with people, spread the words. Let people know that that's what you're doing. You are competent, you are confident, and you like to do that. Trust me, people come... Uh, they will call you for the job. And as long as you do it right, that individual will refer you to someone else. Yeah, that's how it grows. And the business keeps growing. Yeah. That's how it is. So if you know you are Andy, you have to get out there and connect with people so you can make money in this real estate. Yeah. Okay. The next one I want to talk about real quick is Cobb Appeal. Okay, this sounds so small, so, you know, but trust me, a lot of people are making money from it. Yeah. You are doing cover appeal. You know how to make the. You like roses. You like flowers. You like. You know how to make, match colors. Yeah. I don't know plant. I, I'll be honest. With you, I don't know any plant. <laughs> if you tell me what's the name of this, I don't know. But trust me, there are some people that are so gifted. They yeah. love plant. Yeah. They can tell you how long this plant might stay. Like they know how to feed them. They know how to design, like match them where when you see it, you're gonna you, love it. you fall in love with it. Yeah, you love in fact, it. some can tell you the smell. Yeah. That yeah. person is very close to making money from because he or she already knows how it works. Yeah. They, they already know what's going on with the plant. Yeah. So what am I saying? I'm saying if you are gifted, you know how to do a cub up you. You know how to put plant together. You know how to arrange roses, making it attractive. Yeah. We need this. When we want to sell a house, we need cover people. In our yeah. house, everybody is looking for someone to decorate their exterior home to make it look very attractive. Yeah. And cover people is the biggest we like to do. Because, of course, when someone comes to your house, they see the front of your house first before yeah. they see inside of your house. Yeah. So your job is valuable or your potential job is valuable. All you have to do is to take that skill that you have and monetize it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it's it's going to be your side hustle. Now, if you feel like, well, you want to do more, okay. 
you can buy a tractor. You can buy a uh, lawnmower. That's what I mean. Yes. Buy a lawnmower, and you're going to be a landscaper. So you yeah. are doing the two together. Yeah. Guess what? It's going to fetch you consistent money. Because if somebody is not interested in um, cover bill, yeah. the individual may be interested in cutting the grass yeah, and absolutely. treating the grass. Especially yeah. if you know those streets. I bet you there are some people out there, they know how to treat grass. Yeah. Because they've been doing that in their home. Yeah. Their house is looking cute. Yeah. They know the flowers. They know everything. All they have to do is to monetize it. Yeah. So go out there, connect with people, and make money from this. Yeah. I mean, really, there are all that stuff, all that angle that people can get into real estate and make money from it without yeah. degree, without certificate. Yeah. I would like you to start us all by like telling us what are all that stuff. Yeah. All that skills that people have that they can make money from it, please. Yeah, I, I think you already mentioned a lot uh, because, you know, as a property manager, cleaner is one thing that we look for every single time. Yes. You mentioned short time, which is like very huge on cleaning. <laughs> Middle time is huge as well. Yeah. But come to think of it, when a tenant move out of long leasing, we have to like turn over the property and before yeah. we rent it out to another person, or maybe yeah. we just finish renovating the property. We need yeah. to we need to clean it before we put someone in there, right? Yes. So cleaner is big, handyman is big, cob appeal, yes, and uh, landscaping. I, I think all of them is big. So I, I, I'm gonna go back to where I started earlier, like designing. Yeah. It's no no for me. <laughs> I invest in real estate. I want my house to look cute. Right. For that to happen, then I need someone else expert. I yeah. need someone else that know how to mismatch colors, where a, uh, a plate of this uh, color needs to be in the house to mm -hmm. make it, you know, shine yeah. out, put certain paints, what curtains we need to use. Things as small as that, if yeah. you know those details, that if you look at somewhere, you can easily tell, oh, this this uh, this doesn't fit here. Yes. You should have moved this here, moved yeah. this here. Yeah. Moved. Just by knowing that, you can monetize those gifts. This is this is not rock and science. However, some people are just talented, yeah. natural. They are just raw. Yeah. When they are doing things with colors, you will be amazed what they can bring out of nothing. So these are the people that I think designing is, is, is just their calling yeah. and you can make tons of money off of it. I have someone that is asking, uh, asking me of a designer and I'm like, well, I don't know any, I don't know how to design either. So I'm sorry, I can't help. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> you know, so things like that, you can tap into that on, on, uh, or, that that raw market yes. and build something really really big for yourself and all these things we we might be calling them side us if you know how to build a, a system around it yeah it could be a huge business yeah it could be business started from people's need you find that okay people need this and you tap into it you provide that service that is it so designing is is a very big one that you know people it comes with talent people just you know some people learn it Yes. But if you have that talent, you're going to beat people that learn it all day, all night. Yeah. That's a fact. So another one is movers. Wow. You know, uh, people move every time. Yeah. You know, people need movers every time. Real estate investors need movers every time because you, you will be surprised how many people leave their stuff in the house and just run off. Yeah. People leave their stuff in the house and just run off. They don't. They are supposed to move out with their stuff. They just they just leave, yeah, and leave their stuff because it's not valuable to them. Now, real estate investor need to find a way to move those things out of the house. Being a mover, you don't need a huge truck or anything like that. You can rent a truck for one hundred and fifty dollars uh, with budget, uh, U-Haul, all these big company rent one hundred and fifty dollar. Uh, uh, truck and uh, maybe you have a two gig in a day, five five hundred. That is a thousand dollars. So af after you take gas and everything house, maybe you will be having eight hundred left. Mm -hmm. That is one day. Yeah. That is just a single day. Yeah. So movers are, are something that you know you don't need a certificate like Ibrahim mentioned earlier. You don't need any special training or anything like that. And 
excuse me, if you if, even if you say, okay, I, I I might need to, you know, follow people around, learn how they do it and all that. All these things are on YouTube. Definitely. U university of, uh, well, I, I, <laughs> someone call it uh, YouTube University, yes. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube University. Things are on there that you can learn about movers, how they tie things into the truck. Because, mm -hmm. you know, arrangement matters when you are moving stuff. Definitely. So those things, you can learn it. You just have to take action and put your mind into it. So the, the, the last one that I have is junk remover. Ibrahim, I saw last month for this. <laughs> I have a junk that I want to remove and I couldn't find anybody to, to, to pick wow. them up for me. So at the end, I was driving on the north side of Indy and I saw these uh, two signs next to each other. Both of them are junk remover. I called both of them and one guy, due to speed, he was able to come that same day, like within the 30 minutes he's, he's there and he was able to prove, beat the, the price of the oh. other, uh, other guy. That's how we, we roll on that one. But what I'm saying is, Junk remover is big. Let's say you have a truck already. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. it might, if you have a bigger load, maybe you can rent a, a trailer. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. these things you can get a trailer for thirty dollars and you get a job of two hundred dollars. And you nobody know? asks for a certificate. No, but nobody. You don't. You don't need the certificates to do all these things. So these are the little things that around real estate, and you can tap into. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, make $200 a day, $300 a day, depending on how, how you know, how, can, how much you want to, you know, be involved. You can get two, three gig a day. Yeah. And you, you can be making close to $600 a day. Because yeah. people, believe me, people need all these services we just mentioned. Ibrahim, I've encountered stress trying to find someone like you sitting on the other side of the camera and you are not, you know, taking action. I have suffered, like I just I just suffered last last month looking yeah. for junk remover. Imagine how how little that my son, I need a junk remover and I couldn't find any. Yeah. Right? So you sitting on the other side of the camera, mm -hmm. we are letting you know all these opportunities are available and they are out there. Yeah. You can tap into it. Don't say, oh, if I don't have money to buy a house, I don't need to listen to them. If I don't have uh a partner to you know to show me how to flip I, no there are other things you can do around real estate that you can even use to raise money and buy use, use it to buy property at the end of the day yes. so those are the ones that i have ibrahim and uh, i believe our audience already enjoy uh, yeah, it's a uh good the, episode. The, the topic today yeah if people want to reach out to you ibrahim how can they do that yes um you can go to ibrealtor.us again ibrealtor.us 317-728-0213. That's my phone number. So if you go to ibrealtors.us, you see all my contact, everything is there. So anything concerning real estate, I'm your guy, okay? Ahmed, how can they reach out to you? Absolutely. Uh, you, you know, like you always say, go to acopm.com. H-A-Z-I-O-P-M.com. Every of our details is on there. You can email us. You can pick our phone number. You can call us. Whichever one is comfortable for you, do so. Now, if you are like the social media guy, you like to be on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, ACO, ACO, ACO Property Management, ACO PM, that is, you know, all, all our handle. And you can reach out to us on, on there. And we are very responsive. If you need anything we don't, you know, typically do, Ibrahim is here, we can refer you to him, or if, if there's any other uh, services that you need that is not something that we currently you provide, we can refer you to people that, you know, that, can, that can help you solve those. So uh, don't, don't just keep to yourself, talk to people, network, and we will see you next week. Peace.